Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For this video, I will discuss uh, self-practice 1.1c, B and E. Uh, we start with self-practice 1.1c first. Question number one. The quadratic function below pass through the point stated. Calculate the value of C for each case. As I mentioned in the previous video, the value of C is actually the y-intercept. So for A, uh, you just substitute the value of x and y. So this is the value of x. And this is the value for y. So just substitute the value of x and y into this function. And then you get the value of c. c is equal to 5. For question b, fx equals to 2x squared minus 4x plus c passes through point 2 and 3. So this is the value of x and this is the value for y. So substitute the value x and y into this function and then you will get the value of c equals to negative 3. Next c, as you can see the question uh, actually give the answer y intercept. C is actually the y intercept. So, the value of C is equal to 4. Next, question number 2. It is given that uh, function GX here and function FX, function FX uh, blue color graph, function GX, uh, the pink color graph, uh, drawn on the same axis, state the range of values of P. And then explain your answer. As you can see, the pink, uh, the pink graph, the value of A is negative 4 or 4. 4 here. So, negative 4. As I mentioned uh, in the previous video, the bigger the number, then the bigger the number A here, then the graph will approaching Y axis. So P here, the value of P here must be less than 4. Must be less than 4 and greater than 0. Y greater than 0, if uh, P less than 0, uh, if you put negative number here, so here negative, negative, and negative, so negative, let's say, uh, you letak negative 1 here, so it become positive. When positive, the graph is not a set shape graph anymore. Okay, so function fx has a wider curve, thus p less than 0. For graph in the shape of set graph, a less than 0, thus p greater than 0. Next, for question number 3, the diagram on the right shows the graph of a quadratic function fx equals to kx squared plus 6x plus h. Point A, 3, 14 is the maximum point of the graph. So given K in the range between negative 2 and 2, state the value of K. Okay. How, uh, how, uh, how, what is the value of K here? So, as you can see, the graph is a set shape graph. So, the value of a K here must be 
negative number because of the shape of the graph. So in the range, you only have one choice which is negative 1. Because our answer must be in negative number. So for A, the value for K is equal to negative 1. Okay, next for B. Using the value of K from A, calculate the value of H. Okay. Uh, you just put the value of, uh, substitute the value of X and Y here into this function. Don't forget to substitute K as negative 1. So, negative x squared plus 6x plus h and substitute the value of x here with uh, 3 and the value of f hat, fx here is equal to 14. So substitute the values and then you get h equals to 5. Next, question 3c. State the equation of the quadratic function form when the graph is reflected in the y-axis. Give your answer in the form of fx equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, this graph reflects in the x axis what happened when the graph is reflected in the x axis uh, bila dia dah reflect dia akan jadi a uh, smile shape graph so the a here the value of a here become positive okay self practice 1.1d Question 1. The diagram on the right shows a piece of land with a length of x plus 20 meter. This is length and the width is x plus 5 meter. Write a function for, a, for the area. Okay, area here. Formula for area. Length times width. So, this is the length times width. Then you get, you expand this, you will get the value of A here. So, this is the function. A equals to x squared plus 20, 25x plus 100. Okay, for question B. If the area of the land is 250 meters square, write a quadratic equation in terms of x. Give your answer in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. Okay, this is the area from a and then equals to 250. Then, minus 250 to the left hand side. So, we can get 0 here. Then, simplify. So, we'll get the answer in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. Okay, number 2. Aiman is 4 years older than his younger brother. The product of Aiman and his younger brother's age, ages is equal to their father's age. The father is 48 years old and Aiman's younger brother is P years old. Write a quadratic equation in terms of P. So first, Aiman's younger brother age, we let it as P. E. Because here, mentioned here, Aiman younger brother is 3 years old. So, Aiman age is for P, plus, uh, P plus 4 because 
uh, mention here Aiman is four years older than his younger brother. The product of Aiman and his younger brother. So this is um, Aiman's younger brother age time with Aiman age equals to forty eight. So simplify this. And then you will get the quadratic equation in terms of P. Simplify. Okay, next. Uh, Self-practice 1.1e. For each graph of quadratic function below, state the root of the given quadratic equation. For A, the root is actually... Uh, uh, the x intercept of the graph. So here is the x intercept for this graph. So the value of the root is equal to negative. Here is negative. 0 0.35 and here x equals to 2. Okay, for b, this is the root or the, the x intercept. The root is actually the x intercept. So, the value of x is equal to negative 4 and Five. Okay, next number two. Okay, question number two. Determine whether each of the following values is a root of the given quadratic equation. So this is the quadratic equation, and here, x equals to 3 and x equals to, two, uh, equals to 2. Is this given root, given value here, is a root or not? So, this is uh, the simple question. You just substitute the value of x into this equation. Then, if you get 0, then the value of x here is a root of this quadratic equation. So, this is the left hand side, this is the right hand side, right hand side equals to 0. Then you substitute value x equals to 3, now you get 0. 0 here, same as right hand side. So, we can conclude that x equals to 3 is a root. So, uh, you, uh, you can try for x equals to 2, then you will get 0 also. So, for a x equals to 3 and x equals to 2 is a root. For b, use the same method, the same way. Then you will find that x equals to 1 is a root. When you cut, uh, when you substitute uh, x here with 1, then you get 0. But when you substitute x equals to 1 over 2 into this equation, you will not get 0. So, x equals to 1 over 2 is not a root. Same goes to C and D. Do the same way. Then you will find that x equals to negative 1 over 3 is a root. But x equals to negative 2 is not a root. For D, x equals to 2 is, a, is not a root. And x equals to 2 over 3 is a root. Okay, for question 3, determine whether each of the following values is a root of the given quadratic equation. This is the quadratic equation but not in the general form. So, actually it's the same question as number 2 but here, given uh, quadratic equation here given is not in the general form of quadratic equation. So, first you have to 
uh, rearrange or you have to expand this equation to general form. So, first you expand the quadratic equation, then this is the general form in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Then you substitute the value of x here with negative 4. When you substitute negative 4, uh, negative 4 into this equation, you find that is equal to 0. When the value is equal to 0, then you can conclude, uh, conclude that x equals to negative 4 is a root for this quadratic equation. Do the same thing. You substitute the value of x with 2 and 1. And then you will see whether it's equal to 0 or not. Is if uh, the answer uh, you, you calculate here, you get 0, then the x is uh, the root for this quadratic equation. So this is the answer x equals to negative 4 and x equals to 1 it are roots. x equals to 2 is not a root. Uh, you can uh, calculate the three of these lah. Okay. For b, x equals to 3 and f equals to 5 are uh, roots. x equals to negative 3 is not a root. For c, x equals to negative 2 and x equals to negative 4 are roots. x equals to 2 is not a root. Okay, number 4. For the graph of quadratic function on the right, determine whether the given value of x is a root of a quadratic equation fx equals to 0. As I mentioned from the previous video, uh, when the graph uh, passing through or cut the x axis or the x intercept for the graph is actually the root. So, you can see from the graph the root is here, negative 3 and 5. So, from the multiple choice here, only x equals to negative 3 and 5 are the roots. The rest are not the roots. So, x equals to 1 is not a root. x equals to negative 3 is a root. x equals to 15 is not a root. Uh, d, x equals to 5 is a root. Okay, that's all for the homework. Thank you and see you in the next video.